your mama gon' have to make a GoFundMe. Y'all niggas keep doing that sneak jab. Gucci had to kill the whole world. Shit, the man, y'all savage. This motherfucking mean jack. We're almost done. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This hurts so bad. The following preview has been approved for appropriate audiences by the Motion Picture Association of America Inc. A SAP production. <laughs> It's Shay. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. What's up, y'all? So I'm back with another video. This video, I'm just so, so, so super excited for y'all. See you by the title. Y'all see you by the thumbnail. Today we're gonna be doing a birthday prep. I'll be turning 19 in 11 days. Today's actually January 1st, 2023. If you're watching this, happy new year to you and your family. I hope that this new year brings y'all joy, happiness, success, and all the great things. I am so excited for this new year. It's just kind of turning over a new leaf, turning over a new chapter that I'm just so like excited for. I know God has so many great things in store for me and I'm just super excited for that. But yeah, moral of the story today is actually January 1st. Like I said, it's currently 1.30 right now in the afternoon i woke up not too long ago i was out partying last night i had a ball and i'm just so excited to start this new year off right with just content as you guys know my birthday is january 12th it's capricorn season the best season to ever be you know what i mean the best zodiac sign period my birthday is next week thursday and i'm just so excited so i've been planning we have a dinner but that'll be a separate vlog but for this video we're gonna be doing a prep so i gotta do my brows do my hair do my nails I'm getting tatted. I'm just so excited because I've been wanting a spot and tattoo y'all for a minute. I've been wanting a tattoo for a minute y'all and um I'm finally deciding to get it. It's a spot that's like super super like tricky because a lot of people say it hurts so bad but I'm willing to do it. I already booked my appointment. I will show y'all where I'm getting it and all that but we're just gonna keep the you know the tension going so you guys will see all that further down in the video but i think i'm gonna start off with getting my hair done first um so the style that i'm getting i'm gonna be like having it till i go back to school and then like for my birthday dinner i'm gonna be switching it up i want to kind of do like an updo so i'll switch that up like later but i plan on dyeing my hair i bought the dye yesterday i went to the beauty supply store and i'm so excited like i'm going for something very like hmm what's the word for it i've done red before so i'm going for red obviously however i'm going for like a specific color like a fall all color kind of vibe you know i know it's not fall anymore but the color that i'm going for looks something like this here's a video that i found on instagram and this is kind of like what i'm going for she's actually using bleach i won't be using bleach on my hair but you guys will see this is the exact color that i'm going for the reddish with the you know Asian spice orange color it's so freaking cute i'm so excited to be getting it i'm gonna be doing it today my best friend gonna be doing it for me i'm so excited that's why my hair is up in a bonnet right now it's not looking too good and i'm just tired of the black i was gonna just do red burgundy like i did last time but i'm like i need a little kick to it i need a little oomph you know what i mean because i already did red on my natural hair so it's time for me to do something new and i'm getting a retwist tomorrow january 2nd at like 10 a.m my appointment and then i'm driving back to school on the 4th or the fifth i think i don't remember and then my nail appointment is the following week i think on the ninth i want to say my tattoo appointment is on the seventh so i just have a whole bunch of appointments so you guys will be coming along with me i am super duper duper excited because it's next to 19 y'all like i'm turning 19 one night like i'm so excited oh my eyebrow appointment is also on the third so i have a lot of appointments attend like i have a good like five appointments set already um the only appointment that i did not set is my lashes because i will be wearing strips but i placed an order for some strips that i'll be picking up i think on monday my best friend is gonna pick them up for me so they're like super cute and the last strips that i ordered they look like minks so i'm gonna just be putting those on i refuse to like pay a hundred and something dollars for individuals that don't even last two weeks I'm done with that era. So yeah, super duper excited. The birthday prep begins. Y'all know it's the first of the month. That means that we're prepping for my birthday. I'm so excited. I've ordered my dress already. And I also ordered jewelry. Um, I do want to show you guys. But I don't know if I want to show y'all. Should I show y'all? But then that's going to be kind of like selling it. Yeah, I can't show y'all right now. I think I'm going to save everything for like the actual birthday dinner vlog. Like the actual day of me getting ready and all that, all that. Oh, I'm so freaking excited, y'all. It's going to be so much freaking fun. I'm so freaking Getting excited but i cannot show y'all everything just yet because you know i can't 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 do that can't do that but just know that it's gonna be amazing i'm super excited for this 
crap. So like I said, first thing we're gonna be checking off the list is my hair. My best friend is dying it for me today. It's like this black color, like natural black. We're gonna be switching over to like a burgundy and Cajun spice orange. I think it's gonna look so freaking good, but I'm also very nervous, so I really hope it turns out good. Enjoy this video, love y'all. So you guys, I am at my best friend's house now. I did wanna give you guys a call as far as like everything that I got from the beauty supply store since I didn't take you guys with me for the dyeing process. Today is January 1st to the same day. It's currently 6.10 and we're gonna get started on my hair because I'm getting a retwist tomorrow. I still don't know what style I wanna go for. Cause like I said, for my birthday, I'm gonna be doing an updo with a swoop probably. But for tomorrow, I'm just gonna get a retwist just for like, you know, to look decent purposes. Cause I don't wanna wait like this until my birthday for my hair. And school starts on the 9th. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do a retwist, whatever. Finally, and then for my birthday, I'll do another style. But I like the color and stuff. I got this little mix and bowl. I also got the brushes to go with it. I got a bigger one and a smaller one. It's like a pack. It comes with two with it. And then I got these conditioning caps. They're like white caps. So when I like let the color sit or whatever. I need to also do some research on like how long the color is supposed to be sitting. But it should say it on the box. I got this dark and lovely honey blonde color. Light golden blonde it's called. Um, it says a fade resist. So that's great. So I'm going to be using this. I've used this on my hair before. So I'm very excited. It's in color 384. I got about like four boxes of these. Because I got a lot of hair y'all. So I need like a good amount of this. So I got four boxes. Hopefully that should be enough. If not, then we'll be going to the supply store to get some more. But yeah, got four boxes of these. And then I got the best things. I got color. So y'all yeah, know I want to do a burgundy color. But like I said, I also want to do some streaks of like orange slash like Cajun spice. I think the color is called. I think this is going to be too much dye. But I, I don't know. I don't know how much it is. But I got four bottles of this one, which is the Wild Cherry in color 69. Yeah, I got four bottles. And then I got one of the Cajun spice. So this is what that looks like, color 56. So I hope it's going to be a good enough orange. But if you guys could kind of see the combination of the colors. I feel like that's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. And then I got the silicone mix that I'm gonna apply on my hair when I'm done like washing, conditioning and everything. It's gonna help the hair get like super soft back again and just like, you know, color can make your hair like a rough. So I'm gonna be, you know, putting that. I'm so excited y'all. Oh I'm so freaking nervous too, but like, I'm also very excited. I'm anxious, but I'm also very nervous. I think that if the dark and lovely color takes on my hair really well, I think that I'll be good. But I'm also very, very nervous because uh, I'm just very nervous. I don't know how to react right now. I was gonna go to a professional, but like, I don't know. I feel like we can do this at home. I'm just gonna go to a professional to get a retwist and also get some of my locks repaired because some of them are like thinning out. Like for example, with this lock right here, you guys kind of see over here is kind of thinning out just a tad compared to like the middle of it, which kind of looks a little bit chunkier. So I'm gonna get them repaired or I can even repair them myself because I have the lock needle. So, cause I instant lock my hair myself. So it's like, I could really do it, but I just like going to a professional because I've had my natural hair out for a while, but I never really had locks for real. So with locks, it's just a totally different process. However, I'm very excited on this journey. I'm nervous, but I'm also super duper 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 excited. So I'm gonna be taking you guys on with me for the birthday prep. Yeah, I'm really turning 19. Like, I was gonna just do a retwist or whatever for my birthday, but I'm like, I gotta go big. I'm turning 19, one nine. This is not something to play about. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go down my hair now. Yeah. <laughs> This the first time in a long time. Used to be broke, but I'm on now. I was just stuck at the bottom, grinding. Now I'm shining, sitting at the top. I was just stuck in my feelings. Now I just run around playing with millions. Now I have a racks to the ceiling. Stacking no cash, what a wonderful feeling. We used to go walk in the mall and go shop, but now we can walk in and buy the whole building. We have a mansion with eight, but honestly, hi, I'm shaking the bottle. <laughs> I'm gonna fall like a count, and God ain't gonna give you no fault, you can't hum. Back in the truck, we ain't even have cable. Now I see my face on the chunk. They all be version of all fighters on me, the Rari is swerving. I went to jail for that Draco. I guess there's nobody perfect. Ain't give me no bun. I sat in that cell for a long time. Be Draco. Be gay, first time in a long time. This the first time in a long time. This the first time in a long this is the first time in a long time. This is the first time in a long. This is the first time in a long time. This is the first time in a long. This is the first time in a long time. This is the first time in a long. Y'all, 
I know this is like super ghetto. This was so funny, but believe it or not, this actually ended up working. That's how you know sometimes you gotta hit the DIY at home, y'all. But anyway, so we had to go back in with the color to get my hair even more blonde because some parts of my hair didn't like take up, you know, the blonde really well. So we just had to go back. We even had to go back to the beauty supply store to get some more boxes because my hair, I told y'all, is so thick and I have so much hair. So like we had to go back to the store, but the store was closed. So we had to go to Walgreens. We got like two or three more boxes and we went in in my hair again, got the spots that we didn't get to get fully. <laughs> Mr. Genius Idiot. I love it, man. I love it, man. These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate. I'm just saying. Feel like we one and the same, our relationship changed Yeah, or it never existed Whenever they say something about us, you listen Well, fuck what they talking about on your timeline Y'all this is how my hair looks right now. It's currently 11.40 at night. We started at like 6. So it's like super like lit. My hair is like a honey blonde type of color. Let me flip the screen so y'all can see it better. But here's what it looks like. My roots are like so bright, bro. You can even see my scalp for real. It looks really good. We had to re-dye it. We had to go to the store and get some more. We had to touch up some spots that like it wasn't picking up well. So like all of them are like picking up pretty good. We just rinsed it and I like blow dried it because you know. Gotta make sure that it's completely dry before we put on the red. And I'm so glad that my curls aren't like, you know, getting loose or anything. They look pretty good. But after, obviously I'm going to do like a treatment and everything um, afterwards. So it won't be that big of a deal. Y'all, this is so freaking crazy. I can't even believe I did this. You can even see my edges. That's how blonde my hair is. But yeah, we're about to get ready to put on the red dye. I'm so excited. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on how it's looking. I don't like it like that because I never really liked this color on me. It's like I never see my edges. The roots are dyed good. Period. Now let's go and get the red dye on. Fuck what they talking about on your timeline. That's cutting all in my time. My time is It's currently 9.17 in the morning, y'all. I woke up at 9 o'clock. Um, you guys know my hair appointment today is at 10.30. I'm getting my hair retwisted. The color really turned out so bright, like brighter than I thought. But I mean, hopefully when I get a retwist, I like it. I woke up super early this morning because I figured that I could not go to my hair appointment without Starbucks. Like, knowing that I went to sleep late last night, I just need some Starbucks. Like, we didn't go to sleep till like 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. Like, I'm being so serious. But this is kind of how the color turned out. It's really super duper bright. But, you know, even Eventually, it'll, I'm pretty sure it'll fade and like, you know, get darker and, you know, my roots will grow and all that. So I'm pretty sure it'll look fine. I am very, very nervous to get a retwist because I really feel like getting a retwist is like do or die right now. Especially knowing that I'm going to a new girl. I've never gotten my hair retwisted by any other loctician ever than the one I have at school. So I'm very, very nervous to see how this turns out. I had to rush to the Starbucks that's kind of further away than where I stay because that's the only one that has a drive-thru. All the other Starbucks in my area, you have to get out the car. I 
I don't think I'm looking to up to parts to get out the car. So I just had to like get, go further because I refuse. Um, but this Starbucks is like built so weird. It's like on the side of the street. So like let's say the line gets too long, you'll be waiting in line on the street. And I feel like that's just so dangerous. And that's just such a bad spot to have a Starbucks. Like I wish I could show y'all, but it's like cars. Oh wait, I can't even see it for real. Like y'all see how the road is right here? The line is also behind me. So like, and it's a busy road. It's not like it's two, three cars drives, just driving by. Like look. Like, if I show y'all in the rearview mirror, y'all see that grayish car right there? They're waiting in line, and they're on the street. And y'all see that white car and all those cars passing by behind it? I feel like that's just so dangerous, and that's just something that they should change. Because whatever architect or engineer built this, or whoever the idea was this, horrible idea, boo, zero out of ten, not a good idea. Because why would you do that? Y'all know by that last video, I gotta have my signature, or not signature, but like my ultimate Starbucks drink. I think I found my, literally, like, my Starbucks drink. I think I found it. I had already had my starbucks sandwich but now i have my drink like that's my biggest flex right now like hello i'm not sure if i said this in the beginning of the video but i just want to say happy new year to you guys yes i did say that but i just want to say it again because i really really hope that this year is really great to all of us i feel like throughout these past years especially with covid a lot of us been like through so much so i really really hope that this year is just so much better and yeah that's just really my wish for that i'm gonna go home after i get starbucks to shower and you know of course change clothes put on a tq fit so i get my little wreaths whatever i really still don't know what style i want to get but i just know that i want my hair out of my face i feel like i need some time for it to grow on me i'm not really feeling the red too much i don't know if it's because it's just so vibrant i don't know what it is i just i, I want something out of my face so i'm planning on doing something similar to this with like ponytails or like just something just out of my face because right now I also thought about this one, but this one, her ponytails are kind of high. I don't really want that. And she has the strands at the front. I don't even think I want the strands at the front. But I mean, I, maybe I could get that. Okay, I guess maybe I could do that. But I mean, like, I really, like, do not want my hair in my face whatsoever. Like, I just need some time for this hair to grow on me, like, so bad. Because I don't know if it's because I really had it. Like, y'all, this shit is fucking bright. Like, this shit is peeking through. The, it's peeking through the bonnet. Like, I'm scared. Like... I just I don't know like I like changing my appearance a lot of times but like I just don't be I it need some time to grow on me a lot of things be needing time to grow on me my industrial piercing I liked it right away I didn't really need that to grow on me because I really been wanting to do that but my hair oh my god but by the way the color that I was going for it didn't turn out that way like I wanted ginger streaks but it didn't quite turn out that way so maybe we'll try that another time or something maybe I'll add that I don't know we'll figure that out but it just picked up on the red because the red was just super vibrant so the orange didn't too much pick up on it so because I didn't want that many streaks anyways but because I guess we didn't put that many the red kind of just overpowered it so that's the deal with that so that's what happened I'm kind of sad that it didn't take how I wanted it to but I'm like, eh, it is what it is, no big deal. Now it's currently 9.22. My goal was to get home by like 9.35, 9.45. Hopefully I'll be able to make it. Let me see how far home is right now. I mean, I feel like if I get on the highway, I'll get there faster. Hi, how are you? Okay, you? I'm great, thank you. Can I do a double smoke um, sandwich? Uh, in fact, no, can I change that for a bacon gouda, an egg sandwich instead? And then for my drink, can I do a venti iced chai with five pumps of vanilla, one pump of brown sugar, and cold foam blended in the matcha. Well, matcha blended in the cold foam. And easy ice on that. That'll be all. She asked me how many scoops of matcha did I want. I never even knew they asked how many scoops of matcha. But I said two. The more matcha, the better. You can't really see me because the sun is super bright, but I got my drink. I usually get the double smoke, but I got the gouda this time around. So let's head home and get ready. A few moments later. Hey, y'all. So I'm in the car now. Right now it's 1028. I didn't even have time to put y'all up on a tripod. Matter of fact, it's 1029. Okay. So I'm four minutes away. I'm gonna be a little late to my hair appointment, but it's okay because she lives like not too far. So I should be there at like 1033 it says. So I'm just a couple minutes away. Yeah, I took a shower. I feel so fresh. Got my Starbucks drink. I took all my stuff. So I'm probably gonna edit and work on some things while I'm over there, plan some content. Blase blase. Whew. I am very nervous but excited at the same time. The color, like I said, turned out super bright. So I'm really, really nervous on how this retwist is gonna turn out and i also don't know like how i'm gonna style my hair like i really just don't freaking know i'm a little stressed out i have a couple phone calls i also need to make today so i need to do that but um i'm so nervous y'all i really don't know how this retwist is gonna turn out i'm very 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 freaking nervous so i really really hope that i like my hair i'm supposed to be picking up some lashes today but um my best friend is gonna go pick them up for me so yeah by the way guys i forgot to mention so with my birthday we have uh so i'm gonna have two birthday dinners one down here in miami which is tomorrow 
and then another one when I get to Savannah at school so but the birthday dinner that I'm having tomorrow is really with just family so like we're having like this nice dinner at this like super fancy place where like people dance and you eat at the same time I don't know my mom is the one who the restaurant because it's crazy because my mom's birthday is this week my birthday is next week and my grandma's birthday is the following week so we're like celebrating all of our birthdays the same month we're, Cap we're all Capricorns y'all that mean that when I have a daughter later on in life like she has to be a Capricorn because it's just like it runs like it's just a generation thing you know what I mean so she has to be a Capricorn no matter what um, but yeah y'all so I'm on the way I should be there in two minutes it says hopefully I won't be charged a late fee because I am a little late but I mean I'm not that late so I shouldn't be charged a late fee but yeah let's get to my hair appointment hopefully she allows me to record if she does I'll be getting some footage if not you guys will see the after but stay tuned To fight for my guys, yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day, tried to be fine, but I thought they the noise in my mind wouldn't be. I look so freaking weird, bro. Hey, you guys, so I'm in the car now, bro. I feel like I look so weird right now. Like, I don't even wanna, oh, I don't wanna say I don't wanna look at myself, but I damn near don't. So she did a little two-strand twist with like a style in the front with two buns. I think it's pretty cute. My ends, I just wish sometimes they weren't curly because now they look like kind of thin. But maybe I'll go home and fix it up and try to do something. I feel like I need some lashes. I need some edges. I need something. She ain't do me too much edges because I don't think she really know how to do that. She's just like a pro at re yeah, That's what she did. It's so cute. I'm so glad I found her. I was kind kind of scared for the two strand but I think it looks good okay period I'm glad she had me try this because I was like girl I do not want to do this but it turned out super cute so I'm glad right now I'm about to be on the way to pick up my lashes that I told you guys about because like I said I'm not investing in minx anymore like I just feel like it's just a waste of money so I have this girl she sells well, I don't know like I'm saying like, I have this girl I know this girl oh I don't really know her but my best friend bought lashes from her before and she does well she has like strips but the strips look exactly like minx like when you put them on they're super full super long and they look like minx so I'm gonna go pick some up right now and then after that I'm gonna go to my best friend's house chill and that's pretty much all we gotta do for the day so glad I got my hair done I get my brows done tomorrow well I feel like that's gonna look so freaking cute yeah I get my brows done tomorrow and you know I'm gonna go to my best friend's house Ooh, my my ear hurt but y'all see she did a like two strand twist or whatever I'm really not a big fan of two strand because of my hair type but you know I think it's still cute I think she you know made it work a little bit so yeah let's go pick up these lashes because like I said I'm really done like investing in like minx or whatever simply because i just feel like it's a waste of money y'all like either way like i'm paying 130 for a volume set like a full set just so it can you know i can have enough lashes on my lashes i pay 130 140 dollars plus tip let's not forget because i always tip and um i pay damn near 150 dollars to just get my minx done they last about a week and a half two weeks max and then they start to look gappy and then there's times i don't have time to get a feel or like you know i can't oh i'm not in town or like you know stuff like that so then i have to like you know not get a feel and then when i go back it's been already like three or four weeks so i have to take them all off and redo a whole new set or pay extra money to get a feel so it's just really a lot so it's just like i'm at a point where i'm just like you know what no more minx for me and i'm taking a break and i don't know i just feel like it's not worth this so with that being said i'm gonna be going back to the strip i mean i have like i don't know how i feel about it 100 but like at least i know that i'll be saving money in a sense so i'm fine with that let me see how far this girl is from me she's 15 minute which is pretty good oh she's not too far she's like right there okay she's 14 minutes away out which is perfect so i'm gonna go pick up these lashes and after that i'm gonna um go to my best friend's house when i pick them up i'll show you because i want you to see how full and nice they look because i've seen them on instagram but i haven't really seen them in person so well yeah matter of fact i had one of my friends she was wearing them and it was so cute so i'm gonna go pick them up and yeah a few moments later all right y'all so i'm in the car now still i just picked up the lashes they look so good and nice and fluffy oh my god i'm so excited to put these on i'm at a parking lot right now if i'm waiting on some food but i ordered four two for me and two for my best friend we got two of like each a different kind so this is the first one that we got it's called pretty things it's so freaking fluffy like i wish y'all could see how long and fluffy these are you can even see it for real i'm trying to show up from different angles but yeah this is one of them and then this is the other one is called jada this is what that looks like they're so nice and full though especially this one this one is like long i'm very excited about this one but yeah that's the last that we got no more individuals because i just feel like that's a waste of money i didn't even show y'all my hair from like 
this side i feel like it looks so much better on this side. i feel like i look like a baby right now i think once i put these lashes on i will look so much better yeah, i just want to try the lashes and that's it so i'll see you guys tomorrow for my eyebrow appointment Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday, January 3rd, and right now it's 12.46. I'm on the way to my eyebrow appointment that's at 105 with Kiva or Kiva Aesthetics. Always does my brows, and I promise you guys, she always does a great job. I've really never been to somebody who does my brows as well as she does. I mean, her work is just phenomenal. Like, my brows are kind of thin, but they're also thick, like, at the same time. And I really don't know, like, and I have, like, thin ends. So like the front part of my eyebrows is thick and then the end is kind of thin. So like my, not my arch, but like my, my tail, they call it here. My brow tail is kind of thin. So somehow she always makes it look thick and she always makes it look good. I, I know I sound like I'm doing a promo right now, but I promise I'm really not. But her work is literally amazing. So I got to give credit where it's due. We're in the Miami area. Oh my God, what the heck? If you're in the Miami area, um, book with her because, I mean, she's amazing. I mean, don't book with her because then she's going to be overbooked and I can't get a spot. So don't book with her, but book with her, okay? So right now I'm on the way there. I'm 14 minutes away since I should get there at 101, so that's perfect. Give me a couple minutes to find some parking and get in. It's funny because I literally booked this appointment like as soon as I got home from Christmas break. So that's how you know, y'all. She really, really be booked because last time I came home for Thanksgiving, she was completely booked. I like texted her and she was like, I am so sorry. I'm so booked and she could not squeeze me in so this time around i got me an appointment i had to give me an appointment before my birthday like i had to, that's what i did and i leave for school tomorrow so i literally got my appointment like right on time i am so 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 excited y'all oh my gosh like i love like if you're oh i'm gonna miss the light oh no i'm not <laughs> no i'm not i know a lot of people are not really like brows type of gals because my best friend she never gets her brows done and for somehow and some reason it always looks good but for me i gotta get my brows done like wet it out but anyways so um i know like we don't really get their brows done but like us girls who got like thick brows and who get them done you know we know like you gotta get your brows done because brows just adds that like it just adds just something to it and you know i don't know just the brows just do something to me every time and i feel like i just feel like i don't look my best when my brows are not done i don't know that's just me because i just have really thick and funny looking brows so when they're not done they just don't look right and like the fact that i've been getting my brows done since i was like 15 16 like it has a specific shape and the second like those hairs start to grow again it just does not look right so with that being said that is that out the way yeah, doing weirdos. so yeah y'all like this and and i really gotta like get them done like every time because i just need it to look right nice and fresh and then she does like this little tint every time so it just looks it just looks perfect you know what i mean it looks perfect so i'm on the way there right now i cannot wait to have my brows freshly done oh my gosh so excited i really can't wait to do my nails for real I'm also still adjusting to this new color, y'all. I can't even lie, so I'm just still adjusting. But hopefully, I can like it by my birthday at least. I gotta like it by my birthday. It's a must. I mean, it's cute. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, it's so cute. But I feel like I just gotta really get used to it. A lot of people have been telling me that it's cute, but I'm just, I just can't get, I just can't get on it right away. And I feel like it's probably because my roots are slightly brighter than the ends. But I mean, it's cute, but like, I'm just still adjusting, y'all. Just bear with me, because I've had black hair for like the past, like, year and a half so i've really gotten used to it and like you know i had gotten used to it i'm gonna turn my camera off i'm gonna stop talking because i only brought out one battery with me and this battery isn't even fully charged so i'm gonna cut this off right now get to this bra appointment make sure i get there on time get a nice little parking spot in the front and then i'll catch up with you guys once i'm in there I'm in the loop, I'm on the ways Oh, I stay out the way I don't mean I like to get it poppin' But these bitches in my penis call me I'll treat you some violence If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside I keep it quiet You know I'm scared, I'm the lowest of the lowest But if you can keep it, ain't nobody knows I need you to get the fuck on my space The basement's on the way, be the red That pussy's feeling like a great escape I'm a 
Stop at Ulta, buy a couple things that I need for my birthday that's coming up. I had to do you know, a little shopping. I feel like nobody really talks about like how expensive Ulta is. I probably have like four items in here and I just paid like $198. So almost $200, like literally y'all. Like this is, Ulta is so freaking expensive. I don't know if it's just the products that I buy, but it's just so expensive. But first things first, I got this clear mascara. It's really for my brows. It's like a brow gel also. So I use that for my brows because I know I, got, I just got them done or whatever. Um, I bought this Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. Janiya put me on this. I've been watching her video. I'm trying to have this to focus. And she said that this was really good. And I tried it for the first time the other day. And when I tell y'all, this get rid of your dark spots so fast. 10 out of 10 recommend and then i bought this little exfoliating thing for your face because i want to really get into like taking care of my skin again because my birthday coming up honey and i need the skin to be super clear and in this same brand it's called murade murad i don't know what it's called how you pronounce it whatever i also bought the vitamin c cleanser i'm really looking forward to using this really really hope it works as good as this rapid correcting serum and then I also got this Morph brow pencil. I usually get my brow pencils from the beauty supply store, but I need to stop being ghetto and cheap. And you know, upgrade a little bit because you know, I'm doing my own makeup for my birthday and I need to, I need it to be sharp and nice and clean and smooth. You know what I mean? And then I also got this Ultra Creamy Tart Concealer for my brows because baby, I need the brows on point for the birthday dinner and the birthday look. And last but not least, I got these two beauty blenders. I wanna get into using beauty blenders to like blend in like my under eye and my brows because I feel like beauty blenders work like so much better. So yeah, that was the Ulta haul. Sorry, I spoke like kinda fast. It's only because like I said, I only brought out one battery with me today and it's like has like one bar left. So this little bag y'all see right here, $200. Okay, listen, this is my last trip to Ulta for the rest of the year and I am playing. Right now I'm about to go home. It's 310 right now. I'm gonna go home, rest, get the pack because like I told y'all, I leave tomorrow for school. I'm driving seven hours by myself. Wish me luck if you're watching this video. Let me get home right now and get the finished pack because I gotta leave early tomorrow morning. And yeah, I do have a couple other errands that I have to run while I'm out, but that has nothing to do with the birthday prep, so I won't be including that in it. So yeah, I'll see you guys the next time we have to prep for the B-Day. <laughs> oh, by the way, the brows, 10 out of 10 to recommend. Listen, go book with Kiva, okay? Because baby, mm-hmm, yup. <laughs> guys good morning right now it's currently like 8 30 9 30 i believe i'm not sure what time it is exactly but it is definitely the morning time i'm definitely gonna put i'm definitely gonna make my camera slightly darker because i just feel like i look overly bright right now i don't think i need to be this bright okay perfect so right now i'm currently getting ready i have a tattoo appointment at 11 um she's in huntsville so i'm gonna have to make a drive it's about an hour drive but i feel like when you get tattoos and stuff like that you have to like find a really good artist and if you gotta make that drive you gotta make that drive so right now i'm gonna do my edges and get ready and all that all that i'm just so i'm excited but i'm also like super nervous because i'm getting my spine hold on let me show you what i'm getting i'm just gonna show y'all what i'm about to get tatted so first things first i sent my tattoo artist this um picture just as a reference and like ideas so really i was thinking this right but i asked a lot of people they were like do you feel like the dragon is not giving me vibes they think i'm more calm and just collected so they think i should get something else so i was like okay let me turn to the butterfly so mind you i have like a lot of ideas let me show y'all the different ideas that i had before i show y'all what i'm actually getting so i had saved a whole bunch of them on pinterest and um i really had a bunch of ideas so wait 
Okay, so first I was thinking about something like this, just kind of going down the spine, stuff like that. And then I was also looking at these kind of things, which I feel like everybody has. So I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get this. And then I also looked at this piece for a while with the butterflies and the tree added. I looked at this piece for a little while, um, but then again, I was just like, it wasn't giving me this up and excitement to get it. And then eventually I was like, okay, gotta get this one. But I just still felt like the words is something that every, like the kind of like words going on the spot right there, everybody had that. And I was just like, mm -mm, not giving. Then I looked at this, but I was like, eh, still not giving me what exactly that I wanted. So I was like, you know what, maybe I want a butterfly. So I came across this picture right here, which is super cute. I love how the words are in the middle in red, but I just didn't like the wings, like the end of them. So I was just like, I don't know how I feel about this, but I love the fact that it's a butterfly. I thought that would fit me perfectly, but whatever. So I was scrolling on Instagram one day, coming through like hashtags and stuff, and I came across my tattoo artist who did this piece right here. This piece right here that y'all looking at, I was like, this is beautiful. So I was like, you know what? I think I found my piece. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be getting today with the butterflies. And her quote says, life goes on. But um, with my quote, it's gonna say, uh, turn pain into power. It was really gonna be turn the pain into power, but that would have made it like slightly longer. And I wanted to fit like perfect in between the butterflies. So last night, my tattoo artist sent me this final like, hmm, what do you call it? I guess she was kind of like brainstorming or whatever. So that's kind of what mine is gonna look like. Disregard the dots. It's really for her reference. And the butterfly, I think, is gonna be slightly like extended in a sense. But um, that's what we got, y'all. Very, very, very excited. It's gonna be painful, but I it can't be that bad. I mean, like. I've done so many wild things so far. I feel like I just gotta go and get it. I don't even know what the countdown is at this point. I wanna refer to Instagram as a countdown because see today's a seven, so I would say one, two, three, four, five. But if I say five days, that means that like January 12th, like the fifth falls, the fifth day falls on the 12th. But I think it's like four days because you wanna not count the day. I really don't know how countdowns work. So it's four days. That's what Instagram says. So we're gonna go with what Instagram says. So that's the countdown for my birthday. I'm so excited. So with my dinner, everything is gonna be like the same day, like of my birthday. I mean, we're college students. We grow now. We ain't gotta wait for the weekend for us to have a little dinner. That's crazy. Like I remember like a couple years ago, you would you would have to wait for the weekend for you to like do something for your birthday. Like back in the days when we were young and you know. We had a bedtime, we had a curfew, like, hey, those days was crazy, I ain't gonna lie. I really should probably like take them down, but I'm gonna leave it up there for now, cause I don't feel like taking my hair down right now. But I would have to moisturize it and all that, and I'm not doing that, cause my hair is like really dry. I haven't even moisturized my hair since I've gotten it done. Like I sprayed something in it like yesterday, but I haven't like fully went in and like moisturized for it. So we just go like, kind of bypass that. Also, I really need to like brainstorm for some ideas. I've been looking on Pinterest, right? Um, for like some updos type of styles, type ideas um, to do for my birthday. Cause obviously I won't be keeping this this like resource in because I want to do like an updo, like a bun with like probably like petals or something. I really just want to do something classy, elegant and something that's just gonna match with what I'm wearing. Um, I ain't too good at styling my locks. Like, so I'm just really, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The amount of pain that I'm about to be in in like approximately like two hours, I feel like the way I'm moving right now, it doesn't really seem like I'm just like prepared for that. I don't know, I don't, how do you even prepare for a tattoo for me? Like, how do you even prepare to be in pain? I mean, I feel like I'm gonna bring probably like my AirPods and just like go on TikTok or probably watch a show. I think that's the best bet. Cause I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And when I tell y'all, I'm, I feel like I'm nervous. I would sit up here and say that I'm nervous y'all, but I'm also the kind of person that like, doesn't get nervous until like I'm sitting in the chair and she's about to start. Like my industrial piercing, I sat there just cooling, like laughing and having fun up until I sat in that chair. I was like, whoa, and I just got nervous and like anxiety and everything. I really just don't know, like, I don't know, there's something about me that like, I just don't, I don't wanna say I don't get nervous, but I do, but like, I get nervous in that moment, in that second. Like, I do not like be nervous for like a long time. 
Like I get nervous like as soon as I sit in that chair and get it done. I think I'll be nervous the whole time, but I really don't. So y'all, I am all ready. I put on my lashes finally, so that's the look. I'm about to show y'all what's it though. I'm not gonna keep struggling, like shut up. Like am I the only person who's like so sick of this sound? Like this alarm is just so annoying. Anywho, OOTD, I just want a crop top, something that's like easy to take off. And I got a sports bra up under, and then I have my jacket, and then I got some leggings on with my panda ducks. So that's kind of the fit, super comfy, super chill, and yeah. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, I did get rid of my smiley. Um, The smiley era is over, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like it was nice and cute while it lasted, but it feels good to smile again without it. No more smiley. I literally took it out, but I saved it though. I'm pretty sure the piercing is gonna close. Like, it's probably closed right now because I literally took it out yesterday. It's probably closing, but it's fine because I feel like I don't really want it anymore. I don't know, I feel like I had too much going on and the red hair, I just felt like it was just too, too much. So I took it out and yeah, I also need to come up with another lip combo because now I feel like my lips match my hair and I don't really like that. So I think I'm gonna come up with a different combo because I don't really like how this combo is looking. I mean, it's cute, but it's like it matches my hair and I don't really like that. So I'm probably gonna come up with like a black brownish combo. Just kind of like throw it off, balance it, you know? Oh yeah, all that. So that's the hair for the day. That's the fit for the day. That's the face for the day. I hope that my hair doesn't like keep getting caught in my piercing because it's been doing that to me like all morning. Ouch. But yeah, let's go and get tatted. Got it now that slide on me, I like to get it poppin' But these bitches in my penis call me out to choose and buy me If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it sliding In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside I keep it quiet You know I don't ski, I'm gonna always do the lowest Baby, if you can't keep it, ain't nobody lowest the my space The pace means on the way be the red That pussy's feeling like the way to scare 10.31 Okay, what are we finna do in like 30 minutes, baby? Get tatted <laughs> Nah, yeah, bitch <laughs> And you scared I'm not Tell scared Tell them I'm not scared. I feel like I'm like neutral right now But I feel like when I sit down in a chair, I'm gonna be nervous <laughs> So, Bacon yeah. hold my hand. Bacon hold my hand. No, I ain't gonna be like that, man. I'm gonna just sit there and just. I'm gonna try to like steal my phone and just like keep my mind off. I don't know. I feel like the pain is not gonna be that bad. You got your AirPods? I'm gonna watch a show or something. Where are we? 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 Record me all day. Mm -hmm. Hey, you look sun kissed. <laughs> <laughs> you funny, bro. You said. to the appointment we're actually waiting outside she told us to give her a couple minutes i meant to show y'all my starbucks drink but it's it's damn near done like what's funny so we're waiting outside i still like don't feel nervous or anything i'm just ready to see how i feel for real because i don't know how the pain is gonna be but 
We just chilling and vibing in the car. It's 11.07 right now and it's January 7th. What a coincidence. Oh, okay. She, she said to come on. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue bitch. You just want to send me automatic with a drum Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, that just begun I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Who's the man? I don't know no other man You like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands I don't even got me a hundred pins I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans Give me peso, extendo I carry just like a prego Hit around with nigga called Pedro Suck it, nigga, shoulda knew it from the get-go Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it Come on, baby, don't play with it Just lay it Spin or play it My hit is don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it they stay with it. I'm okay with yeah. it. It's really coming to me, they'll play with it. See, on me, yeah, that's something that I stay with. The brother, stay ain't really nothing to play with. Steady chatting when I ran down, she ain't safe. My head is gonna bang quick. Fuck around and get dangerous. Step like bimbo. Stop up to my timbo. Toes, no, I ain't playing games on Xbox, Nintendo. Real, no force. I stand on it, that's ten toes. Hold up with the big body with the dog tits on the window. He says she sucks sweet. They don't wanna let her ride by. Let them taste the f. Then I keep them out right after. I got these niggas vexed cause I curve them when I want. Get his wig, push back if the nigga try to fall. Pain 50 out of 10. I'm okay with it. When it come to me, they don't play with it. How long have you been here? We've been here since 11 ish. It's about to be 2, 157. And we're almost done. How many breaks have you took? <laughs> okay, it's not trying to be funny. Like, yeah, yeah, oh my God. God. Taking a couple breaks, but it's not that many. You know what I mean? It's a reasonable amount of breaks, I think. That's just my opinion, though. Haters, aka people behind the camera, might think differently. 
Anyways. Yep. Haters gonna hate at the end of the day. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
Hey you guys, excuse the lighting. I'm in my car right now and I'm like parked under the sun in a bunch of trees, which just looks funny. But today is Monday, January 9th. It's so how many days? 10, 11, 12. So like two days, I guess, left until my birthday. I'm so excited. Uh just got to my nail appointment. My nail appointment is at 2, it's 157. I'm outside of my nail text place. I'm going for like a Frenchy um kind of look. Um, I sent her this idea that I had as far as my nails, because y'all know I can't, I love me some French chips. I really need to go for something different, but I don't know. I love me some French tips. So let me show y'all the picture that I sent her um, that I want to go for. It's like stuff with like rhinestones and just something like this. Just like give like birthday vibes. Um, like a blinged out short set. That's definitely what I want to go for. Like, you know, rhinestones, charms, all like cute, 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 cute jazz. So that's what I'm going for. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it as far as like what I want to do. My um, Pandora charms finally came in the mail. I'm wearing like silver and gold. Please disregard. Listen just don't mind that i'm actually thinking about switching over to like silver jewelry i'm a gold type of girl like gold is like my go-to without a doubt but my face looks greasy because i had shea butter on so just disregard that but yeah i'm outside of my nail sex house i'm gonna get in there and do my nails and yeah horrible the sun is like it's like four o'clock so like the sun is like out and popping right now my nails turned out super freaking cute i absolutely love them she did y'all she did her big one i know y'all can't really see me but y'all are seeing the nails though it's bro it's freaking giving it's so cute like yep per she ate i love them i'm so excited for the dinner oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun mm -hmm. 